Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. More of the Talos Principle 2 tonight. Um, we made some good progress last time. We're getting a little bit caught up to doing one section in the evening here. We just have a little bit more of this one that we're presently on to do, and then we can move right on to the next one. We've got most of the tough stuff out of the way. Uh, we did one of the stars, I think, right? Yeah, we've done one of the stars. We've got three of the normal puzzles to do, and then we got to find the other lost one. And then we have to do the other star, which we already pretty much know how to do. It's just a matter of uh, going to do it once we build the main bridge thing. Um, but let's do the normal puzzles first, since I think we're probably pretty close to them. Uh, yeah, six, seven, and eight. So there's number six. So what do we got? What do we got here? We've got, ooh, we've got a green source. Interesting. Accumulator, a button. And yeah, that's about it. So we got a green source over here. Okay, looks like we'll have some tunnely bits too, probably. Um, but let's go ahead and get um, let's put that there. Actually, here, let's do this. Let's like do that, and then uh, probably this. Which opens up that. We Gets us, uh, okay, our, our little combo laser bit, too. Okay. Um, alright, and then ooh, there's some more stuff back there, too. Uh, alright. That's the blue source, and we've really just got a mobile blue source with us the way it is. Oh, here we go. And then a red and a blue, and a normal laser here, which I'm presuming is probably going to be for that. Um, and then there's the tunnel bit, which I presume we can probably shoot through these purpley bits, right? Or maybe we just need to take it with us for now. Yeah, here we go. Um, let's take it outside. Because we need... Actually, what are we going to need here? I think we're going to need the green one, right? I need the green source to be available at some point. I bet, okay, I bet I know what's going on here. So let's grab, uh, um, shit. Now let's open to grab this laser bit. Oh wait, actually, where's our combo bit? We can use that to, to weigh down that button. For now, so I'm gonna want this to grab the green laser. Just kind of pass that through. The green here, um, and then I'm going to grab, I think, the accumulator. Just charge, charge to green, and then, and then we've got a green source, and we don't need all this stuff over here anymore. Um, I don't think I will need the tunnel bit except to get these other things through here. Let's go ahead and take a few of these. Um, actually, we might need to hold that one down, too. Alright, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that. Um, I think I might need the, uh, the blue source here to do this. Um, so then we can access probably blue from here, I imagine? Yeah. And there's that. Um, and then we'll have the green source here. And then we can use the combo bit to go blue, green, into red. About right there. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty straightforward. I'm glad to see all those overloads haven't damaged your logic circuit. Oh, Melville. Why don't you do some of these puzzles then? Since you have experienced zero overloads. <laughs> A little shit. Alright. Well, okay. Good. Good stuff there, good stuff there. Uh, so six, we've got seven and eight, and then we gotta find the other lost one. Let's take a stroll over here first, though. Because now I'm curious, since we booted this up for a new session, I wonder if those two switches we flipped before remain flipped. Because it didn't, like, the, the squares we did in the previous area did not seem to stay last time. Oh, hey, look at this. That thing that we can't get to. <laughs> what is it with these things that we can't get to? Oh, maybe we can do it this way. Oh. 
Not that we really need the, the spark thing, but hey, nice to have just because. A little, little platforming, and hey, look at that. All right, I think there was another one in this area too that we couldn't quite get to, but. Heck. Oh, it's another. Oh, it's a satellite dish type thing. And then there's another question mark over here, which. That. Okay, that looks like the other lost puzzle. You know what? We're gonna do this one whilst we're here. Whilst we're here, and whilst we have it in range. Because then it'll just be the two normal puzzles, and we'll, and then we'll be good. Alright, so what do we got? Lateral inhibition. Alright, we've got an inverter, an accumulator. Blue, red, looks like there's a fan there as well. Hmm. Well, let's take blue, I suppose. And then we'll do, uh... Because I imagine once we turn that on, that's probably going to prevent us from going down that this area, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, that then... Uh, hmm. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just pop that there. And then connect it here, right? And that opens up there. And I imagine that opens that, and that would be the end. Yeah, okay. So we need... To get this other thing... Back here. I imagine, yeah. Hmm. How's that gonna work? Uh, maybe we don't need that to be blue. Maybe we need that to be red. Um, can we make that? Yeah, we can make that red. Just need to go like this, do that. Like that, there we go, and then we're gonna do, um, I think that and that and that. What if I connect that? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, although I don't think that solves my problem. <laughs> that doesn't solve my problem, I don't think. Yeah, no, that doesn't solve my problem. Let's let's do this instead. Let's connect this here. Because um, I need both of these back here. How's that gonna... How's that gonna work? I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna work. Oh, oh, actually, I, I think I see. Um, let's do it this way. And then we gotta go, like, this, 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 right? Uh, except I need this to be red, don't I? Yeah, shit. Um, okay, let me re reverse that a bit. Uh, let's charge that, get red into that. Okay, so that's probably fine there. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, do that, maybe? No. How do I... No, actually, I think I had this right before. I think I had this correct before. I need this to be... blue. So that when I connect this... Oh, but it opens that gate there. That was my problem, I think, right? So yeah, it does that, but then I need to get in here. How in the world? Um, how in the world is that going to work? Uh... I'm not going to have enough of an angle to do that. Because I can't get that around the corner. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, so I can't do that. I would need to do this, right? But then what? That only gets me the thing. That gonna work? Is there another? Am I missing a piece here? Oh, can I take the fan off the wall? No, that one's permanent. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because I need to somehow sneak that by here, but I don't know how to. Do that. I don't know how to do that. I don't think I can. So I would need to do this, right? But I can't really do anything with it. Even if I did do that, <laughs> that's permanently on. No, no, it's not gonna do it. Okay, let me get this back to where I needed it to be, I think. I need this to be blue, so that I can do bonk red there. To open this, right? That opens that. That gets me here to a button, which opens that. But I need to put something on here to make that. Oh shit! To make that work otherwise, and I don't know that I can do that like this. There's no way to get to that button otherwise. Yeah. Okay. I get something in here. That's particularly helpful there. Although, hmm. Wait a minute. No, it doesn't work. So if I did that, and I just kind of hang on to this, right? Yeah, that doesn't do shit. That don't do shit. Um, because I need to feed it somehow. So what in the world? What am I missing here? I guess I've got the source of the thing here, right? The only way for me to get past this gate would be to have some sort of thing here, right? Then clearly I can't get it anywhere else. Just like that. I can connect it from back here, which is fine. But then what? I can't sneak it through the door. So I can't, you know, reach my robo arms in. They'd probably get sliced off by the gate. Hmm. That if I were to, I don't know, let's do it like this. That doesn't do shit because I can't get it across there, right? 
Oh, actually, I... Th well, no, I don't. Let's, uh, let's try this once. Keep connections, bonk. Do that, and just do, like, this, I guess? No, because that doesn't work. That doesn't do shit. Because I need to turn on the fan... All right, hold on a second. Let me do... There's not another way to go through that. Okay, I think... I think I know what I need to do, but I just don't know how to set it up. Oops, not like that, clearly. Um, I need this to be red, I think. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I need that to be red. And then I need this to be, like, here. That doesn't block it at all. That's the, that's the weird bit. And I somehow need this to be not like that? Like... I don't know. How can I loop this back on itself? Such that it blocks this motherfucker off. I like that. Like that, sort of, but also like... No. <laughs> Uh, sort of, I guess, but also no. Um... No, doesn't do it. Shoot, okay, maybe I don't know. Maybe I didn't exactly have a plan there. Uh, okay. This, right? Like, that doesn't. What would it do? That still keeps the fan on, and I can't get around it, right? No, that's uh, that's pretty strong. All right. Can we just do this? If I uh, charge it like this, will it keep the connection there? It doesn't. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I just make it blue for a second, and I do this. And then I take this out. Uh, not what, though. Yeah, what does that fucking do? Nothing. I guess I could connect it up to some other things. Not like this would matter? Like, I don't think this is gonna do shit. Yeah, it's not like it's blocking it off or anything. Alright. What if... We do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's get this charged with red. Connect it up there. Okay. Uh, oops. I need to, like, 
book my ass. <laughs> I can't book my ass that far over there, I don't think. Oh, that's close, though. That's close. Hey, Game Over, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, I don't think that's probably not how they want me to do it. <laughs> I mean, unless I move this, you know, back a little bit here. Okay, wow, I made it. Um, I'm, that feels like that wasn't the solution, <laughs> but all right, we'll take it. I feel like anything that might involve quick reactions and and quick clicking about like that is probably not the actual solution that they wanted me to see, but you know what? It, it worked. It was serviceable. And we got, what, two more left here? Uh, yeah, whatever. And, oh, and there's another social media thing. Okay, something about farming. Uh, it's all good. Ancient human fart. This is an all sort of simple farming simulator. Yada yada yada. Has some sort of emotional response to it. Look at the people get out of high their imprisonment and innocent view of the world is permanently lost. Yada yada yada. Uh, these games are enjoyable because they take us back to a time when we still had agency, when we could build things, grow things, etc. It's just a game. Don't overthink it. I mean. Uh, who do we agree with here? <laughs> I mean... Uh, I mean, I kind of agree with Damien here, right? Um, sure. I mean, that's kind of a, a pretty deep read into it, honestly. For I presume they're, like, referring to Farmville or some garbage like that. But I'm going to go with the deep read there and agree with Damien. <laughs> I'm sure that's not going to come back to bite me. All right, we got the two normal ones and then the one star to get yet here. And then we can move on to the next section. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, there's nothing really hidden from us anymore. Although I do want to look at the map that we've got for the Sphinx thing right here. So I feel like if we go on turn right, the other statue thing should be over here, right? that's the thing I'm thinking about. Yeah. Or no, no, that one's not really connected to the others. We might be all the way the f over here. Alright, wait. If I look down this little narrow path here, the main bit is off to the left. Right? So we're probably here. So I need to go straight the f across like the right hand island to check on one of the switches um we'll see if we can find seven and eight on the way as well this was number six that's fine uh oh uh, seven and eight are that way that's fine uh we'll just keep going this way Talk to whoever this is. Oh, uh, Yakut? Is that you, Yakut? You got something? This oh, it's Alcatraz. What, what you, what's up? What's what up, Al? For you, 1K? Do you think finding a functional somnodrome would be interesting? Sure. I think there's plenty inside each of us to explore, and it might give us a new perspective. Yeah, see? There you go. Would Positive. Would really answer all the big questions? No, probably not. Mm, I don't know, but it might help. Yeah, you know. Thanks. Thanks, Al. All right, before we backtrack to seven and eight. Let's make sure these switches are still ticked here. But if they're not, I can redo them. And if they are, well, we just wasted some time. Um, should be... I thought it would have been here, right? So I read the map wrong. Hmm. <sighs> Did I 
carried the map wrong. Oh, it should have been like right around here. So there's the other island off that. Oh, no, that's not the other island. Shit. Uh, can we even get to that one? No, we cannot. It's just on a statue, right? Like that one. These were pretty easy to see in this area. No, it still flips. Okay, good. Never mind. We don't have to worry about it. Huh? Alright, and we can find one of the trail markers and go for the actual things now. Oh, well, I already found that one. Or we just follow the compass. I guess it's already marked there, too. as well. Well, we'll see. We'll visit it all eventually. Uh, let's go this way. I don't think I'm going to be able to walk through that. No. Oh, Melville's out walking around. What's up, Melville? Wondering, uh huh. What made our ancestors settle in these godforsaken places? A good ass question. It been easy with those frail, squishy bodies of theirs. Mm -hmm. What makes a caveman go, Yes, this frozen hellscape <laughs> is where I want to live out my days? Frozen hellscape is Did right. Byron was right. No, is it in our nature to be wanderers? Well, maybe, maybe he was right about that, but. Uh, it's just about resources and population pressure. That's a very pragmatic way to look at it. People are drawn to the idea of building a new society. I don't know if that's inherently true. I think they came here looking for beauty. Or we like to overcome challenges. You know what? The challenges one resonates a bit. We do, don't we? Yes, we do. A species of problem solvers, like Drenin said. That's right. That must be why I sometimes find myself imagining building new cities. I wanted to ask you about something else. Alright. Oh, uh, amenable to chit chat here. Okay. My vision, Athena mentioned a singularity. Yes. And. <laughs> about a gravitational singularity. Uh, unlikely, like but. The point within a black hole where density becomes infinite and space time breaks down. But the term has other applications too. Yeah, that's probably the one I meant there, Melville. Um. I assume there are safe ways of experimenting with this? I doubt it. Uh, they must have been doing some incredibly advanced experiments. You're right. It is fascinating. You know, our ancestors went to incredible lengths to try and understand reality. Oh, uh, reality they is unparsable sometimes, though. Sent telescopes into space to find traces of the Big Bang. I guess the founder was walking in their footsteps. Hmm. Alright. Let me get back to it. I think the question mark is probably the glowy hand bit over there, I imagine, right? Consume! <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Why did you join the protest? Yeah, it's inherently dangerous to this planet's ecosystem. Defending that ecosystem is our responsibility, which is you know, true, I guess. And which way is artificial intelligence dangerous? We're not some paranoid idiot imagining Skynet. <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, within a universe where the Terminator series existed. Um, science fiction, what we're talking about here is AI yeah, without any. The attachment we have to the natural world is not capable of distinguishing between, say, an ore and a tree. Uh -huh. Everything's just resources. We like to trying to talk about ethics and philosophy, but they all embrace the same extractivist ethos. Ooh, a hell of a phrase. It's brought us to the brink of disaster. Their intelligent being would try to optimize the world in its image, and in doing so, and in so doing, consume it. Ah, yes, the uh, optimized paperclip maker, or whatever that fun thought experiment is. 
Uh, blah, 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 but so far they're saying it's all theoretical. The atom bomb is theoretical at first, too. Yeah, uh huh. When something is there, someone's going to use it. Yeah? That's true enough. That's true enough. Hmm, kind of depressing. Um, Apache's journal, her new home is coming along nicely. Finished two new buildings and new lodgings. Tower in the middle of the settlement, which serves as administrative center and heliport. Right now, it's still a long ways off. I mean, I guess it's the early days of New Jerusalem, right? Hard to imagine that one day you'll be able to erect structures like that. There will be enough of us to. I thought there will be enough of us to need that much space. Then I look at the dam and remind ourselves our ancestors built that. The short lifespans and soft flesh and bone bodies. Yeah, humanity is capable of a lot, isn't it? Oh, and then another thing from Trevor. Goof ass Trevor. Goofball Trevor here. Strap in. This is a long Oh, good. You may have heard the story of the carpenter who died to redeem humanity's sins. It's a powerful story. <laughs> very sweet. Very human. And very I just human. want to tell you that it's true. Uh -huh. He was a real person. Okay. And his name was John. John Carpenter. He was born in the year 1948, and he was the <laughs> coolest filmmaker to ever walk the earth. Okay, Trevor. Halloween to Had me going for a bit live, there. The totally underrated in the mouth of madness. Okay. He just made yeah. classic after classic. All of his movies, really fun, really atmospheric, but also really uh, smart. Actually, Even when they were goofy, most directors would kill uh, to have made just one of those movies. And what did he get for it? A big fat truckload of nothing. Uh, well, okay. less than nothing. The studios, the critics, even the fans, they hated him. The thing, okay, for example, which is about uh, as perfect a movie as you can make, no, I want this to be red, to shreds. And his career never really recovered. Every movie there. after that was a struggle. And after Dude. a while, he just got tired of it and quit. He only really came uh, back to movies in his 70s. How many works of genius did we never Red get? And because blue of that? makes green and Look, green. I have a point here. People like Carpenter, people like Alex. Um, they're not mm. always appreciated in their own time. If you just do what's popular, you might never create anything important. Of course, we admire people who did the right thing, who didn't conform, but we actually only ever I think I want this to be blue. After the fact, what matters is to support people when it's difficult. And I want that to feed into that, and then we can do, um... Uh... Shit, wait. Uh, shit, wait. <laughs> Maybe if we can just do this quickly. That leaves us with all of that, right? And then we really just need... Um... A red. Yeah, I'm an idiot. This needs to be red. Right the first time. Because then we can do uh, red and green makes blue. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. Red, green, blue, blue. There we go. Okay. I totally tuned out what Trevor was talking about there. He was just doing some goof ass stuff. Talking about John Carpenter or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> just not terribly interesting, if I'm being honest. Uh, okay, and then we're down to, I think, just number eight, and the main bridge, and the other star. And then we can move on to the next area, make some headway there, and almost catch up to where we need to be. Remember. Okay, red bits, normal laser thing. Uh, an accumulator, which we will fill with red just for grinsies. And then. Well, I. Hmm. What's this gonna do? Oh, that's gonna just pop us over there, huh? Uh, okay. Well, we can get that out of here then, right? Uh, let me put that up. Put that up, the, up on the platform, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, that didn't do nothing. So we don't have, like, something to get it over the fence there. Um, hmm. All right, well, let's see what else we got to work with. Ah, oh, there's a red thing about there. You know what? I'm going to take this here so we can target it. And go blip, blip, blip. Oh, too far. There we 
go. Okay, and then a box. And we've got a red over here. And a... Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, are we at... Can we get this to be at such an angle? I, um, I'm going to take the box first. Because I'm going to want... The box over there, presumably. Oh, where did that... Oh. <laughs> it's like, where did that go? There it is. Okay. Now the box is in there. I'm going to take this. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, actually. But now I want this to be on the box, so we can put it over, right? Whee! Alright. And then we've got some other stuff we can work with here. Let's do... Uh... Well, let's just do this and, well, eventually going to be that, right? Um, oh, then I want the box over here, probably, just for now. So that we can do... Uh, what in the... Oh, we're going to... Yeah, right, right, right. Because we're going to need... Um, probably this here, right? Because what's that? That's gonna just keep that around, right? Um, so then I'm gonna need so that keeps that turned around, right? Okay. Then we're gonna need um, this in here, right? To keep that fed. Uh. Shit, that's not gonna work. Cause as soon as I take this out, it's gonna be like, no, fuck you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I guess. So now that's. Oh. Oh, that uh, controls the thing there. Right. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh. How oh, is this gonna work? Okay. I need this to be weighed down for now. And we'll do. Uh. I'm gonna get this past here. Do I even need it to get past there? So I just kind of need it to be like right here. Can we do that? Can we cut this angle so stupidly. Like right about there. That we can just do it like this. It would be pretty dumb, but I'm, a, I'm willing to give it a try. Yeah, let me just drop it right there. Yeah, see, sort of like that, but it needs to be higher on the box. <laughs> Alright, no, that's not gonna work. Um, hmm. Okay, well, it's clearly not gonna work. So, alright, I need this back on here for now. Um, where is the... Oh, I can pop that all the way back here, huh? Okay, yeah, this works. Um, let me move this over a hot second. Uh, oh, no, actually, not that that matters. I don't really care about that. I don't think of it. I just need this over here. Now that's permanent. And then, then we can grab that. Yeah, alright. Overthinking it. Let's do this. There we go. Did you see how one case solved that one? No. Sorry. Yeah, don't pay attention to how I fucked it up like the first couple times. Okay, really clever, Byron. Get out of here, <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> oh man. 
All right, that's all the normal bits, and to get to the last switch that has the star and whatever. Oh god, we gotta talk to Byron, huh? All right, Byron, what's up? How the? Eh, it's convenient of you to be walking by, I guess. Uh, do you think the answers we seek exist within ourselves? Yeah, a little bit maybe. Reflection is important. Sure is. But only thinking about yourself, your inner identity, becomes narcissistic. Mm, yeah, I suppose. You exist, whether you like it or not. In a dialectical relationship with the world. Okay. Yeah, Identity yeah. Identity has no meaning without society. And society um, I don't no necessarily agree with individual. that, but that I might agree with. It's in that tension that we really come into being. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Great, great chat there, Byron. Um, all right. Let's go flip that last switch, uh, which, according to the map, should be across the way, right? Oops. Uh, let's fix thing. Yeah, it's across the way when we build the bridge to the, the main tower bit. So we'll go do we'll we'll go do a Tetris bridge, flip a switch, and then come back and grab the star. Uh alright, well let's start with that one, do that one, that one. Uh oh, there we go. Um, do I need to do the second one, too? Because where's the... I think it's over there. Right? It's over on an island I couldn't get to without building this bridge, I think, so... Keep going. Oh, and another little Miranda thing. Sometimes it seems the only choices we have are renouncing civilization or mindless expansion. Well, there's got to be but a happy medium, the right? Path forward. Embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction. We are a species of artists and artisans, blessed with the ability to transform the raw material mm, of the cosmos good. into new and better shapes. Shapes that have meaning. With our technology, we can take this chaotic world so full of suffering and turn it into a work of art. Mm, that's no good either. Mm, that's the wrong way. Let's start with this, I guess. I don't. Yeah, that's not gonna work either, is it? I mean, unless this does a weirdo thing that we can now. Start with the T piece, I guess. And then do that, and then do that, and then ah, I like that. Um, start with that, and then don't. No, nope, I think this is flipped the wrong way. Probably the correct piece, just the wrong. Well, no, not the correct piece. Let's do that. Oh, that fucking no. Not that either. All right, hold on a second. Back that up again. Uh, let's start with this, and then T piece over there, and then oh god, that L piece sucks ass. No. Uh, there. And then uh, that right, and then ah oh, no, the T piece though. Okay. Uh, no, no, obviously not that. Okay. Um. Fuck, no, that's not right either. Alright, back it up. Um, let's rotate that over. T piece. There we go. And then rotate that. There we go. Okay, first try. Um, and then the other. I thought the other switch was over on this thing, right? Yeah, there it is. And that should be. Yep, okay. Now we just gotta hoof it back to pick up the star. Maybe we'll grab it on our way out. Let's do the tower first. Whilst we're over here. Oh, 
we're gonna be talking to the Sphinx again. No, it's uh, Pandora. Halt, creature clay. No, you have taken I will not halt. Step towards the flame. Yes, yes, I have. Before you continue, ask yourself: Have the gifts of Prometheus ever truly benefited your people? Yes, fire seems good. Nothing but strife. I, I mean, it's a mixed bag, I'll admit, but uh, fire seems good. Um, if that was guess we would no longer even exist. We've made mistakes in using them, but the good outweighs the bad. Been a curse to my people. These gifts have greatly eased the suffering of the world. Okay. They've caused great harm, but they cannot be put back into the box. Hey, irony. I love it. Lady, I'm a robot. <laughs> the fucking sixth choice out of all these is pretty fucking hilarious. I like it. Um, no. Let's play this a little straighter than that, though. Um, we've made mistakes, but the good outweighs the bad. I mean, yeah, I can't exactly say that's wrong. <laughs> but even so. Alright, what's this gonna be? Blue? Blue murder beam? Yeah. I've been thinking. There's three towers per cardinal direction. Uh huh. And three entities. Uh huh. You think it would be symmetrically arranged. Uh huh. One tower per entity, right? Sure. But. We haven't seen Prometheus at all. And he's been we're built to find patterns. Maybe well, we're trying to find actually, that's patterns a good where point. there aren't any. That's a good point. Where the fuck is Prometheus and all this? Could it spend Pandora and the Sphinx, right? For the main tower bits? Prometheus has been party to what, two or three of the stars already? So yeah, I don't know. Good point, Yakut. We'll uh we'll think about that for the next area here. Oh, yeah, see, this is right on the way. Excellent. None may know what came first, error or sin, and yet every choice depends on it. I mean, it's just another fancy way of saying chicken or egg, honestly. But hey, we did it. That's the entirety of that area, and now we can move on to the next. Lost marshes, huh? As long as there's no snow there. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that's a marsh. What do you want? A whole lot of ice. After they died, most coastal settlements were claimed by the sea. South of New Jerusalem, there's a whole city under the water. Mm. We went there once with Garrus when I was an apprentice. It was eerie. That's exactly why the founder created the goal. Is it though? When you go past the limits, this is what happens. Uh. Mother Nature always gets her revenge in the end. I mean, oh, jeez, that deer is set out to, it's just failure. to greet us there. People say <clears throat> As far as the sea is concerned, it's all the same. Yeah. Their mistake was forgetting that. I mean... Telling themselves nothing would change. It always does. I hate to agree with Byron there, but yeah, I don't think nature is uh, capable of revenge. It doesn't have the intent. To, to be capable of revenge. Much as we humans would like to think so. <laughs> sometimes. Because fuck the weather sometimes. Um, Alright, so here we are, new area. Sixth verse, same as the first five, really. Eight normal puzzles, two lost ones, a lab, two stars. Okay. Well, start at the beginning, right? We're not going to make the mistake of going eight to one again that uh, resulted in bad times <laughs> in whatever segment that was. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? Substitution, we've got a jammer bit. Oh, but we gotta, gotta give something. Give something to get something. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, hmm. Huh. Can I swap myself? No? 
Hmm. Oh, uh, here. And then... there. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. <laughs> uh, okay, interesting. Interesting. Now we have learned a thing. Can we, uh... No, oh, we can't do, like, the jam all since it's on the thing. Whoa, jeez, dear, please. I know some of you have heard stories about the answers this device might reveal. But please remember, that is not our main priority here. Keep an eye open for it, but focus on finding Athena. Like, that's not... Wait, finding Athena isn't our main deal either, Byron. I think that's your deal. That's your main deal, that you're trying to fucking redirect our expedition into. I don't even remember what we're supposed to be out here for, honestly. Thought we were just here to explore, do a puzzle here and there, right? Nothing over here. Oh, there's a thing over there. Oh, it's got marked by a question mark too. I wonder if that's one of the lost ones already. It's gonna let us tromp over there. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it did not like us doing that. Trying to save some time by direct line there, but no. No. It's not having that. Uh, I think that was kind of off this way, right? <laughs> hey, Tom, how you doing? I understand, yeah, like, I wouldn't want to be spoiled on this either, so... Appreciate you showing up, however, briefly. Thanks for the good luck. Um, uh, from Yarnith, oh, I beg you to return to us, we cannot achieve the goal without you, you're the one who defined blah 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 blah, who overcame blah 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 blah, how can we possibly find a path that will lead to blah blah blah, your soul linked to the wisdom of the blah blah blah, yeah, okay, I think, I think we've understood Yarnith to be kind of a bootlicker, so whatever, human construction. What's wrong with the world? Modern prophetic design is narrow, or prophetic idealism is narrow because it's undergone a persistent process of elimination. To ask for new things because we're not allowed to ask for old things. Old position is based on the idea that we have got all the good that can get, We have got all the good that can be got out of the ideas of the past, but we have not got all the good out of them, perhaps at this moment not any of the good out of them. And the need here is of complete freedom for restoration as well as revolution. Interesting thought. Uh, there's one metaphor which in moderns are very fun. There's always, there's always, they are always saying you can't put the clock back. True, you cannot time travel. Like that's literally true. <clears throat> the simple and obvious answer is you can. A clock being a piece of human construction can be restored to the human finger at any figure or hour. The same. Well, yeah, like they're not saying li you can't literally turn back time. We do that t fucking yearly, and it sucks. <laughs> Whatever. Um, that being a piece of human construction can be restored by any figure or hour in the same way society being a piece of human construction can be reconstructed upon any plan that has ever existed. Well, yes, but, ah, uh, man. That's missing a big-ass point there, and I don't like it. Uh, black snow, whoa, what the heck? Oh, is this the, the, the Pompeii eruption? That's wild. Oh, no. No, it isn't. <laughs> Uh, decent jobs lifted us up from poverty, made us proud. We're just ordinary workers, the lords of the underworld, with our skills kept the whole country alive. Yeah, at the cost of your health, because uh, black lung was no bueno. Uh, grew some injuries and death, and when it went away, it brought the collapse our entire society. Uh, mm, uh no. <laughs> I'm like, just even more jobs, and I know what a difference that made in people's lives. I also know them. <clears throat> when we used to go out and play, there were black flakes in the snow. I mean. Yeesh, yeah, that's oh, whatever. Why? Here, <laughs> good ass question. Why didn't they just switch to a safer technology once they realized coal was dangerous? <laughs> ah, really? Uh, I didn't always have a choice, which is also true. Uh, sometimes coal is all they had or were allowed to have, and the alternative was poverty. At other times, they wanted to switch. There were powerful interests that prevented change. Boy, wow, is this humanity or what? Uh, we can't blame people for the world they were born into. That is, that's, that's true. That's true. That's very true. 
Okay. Where were we on our way to? When we drowned? Over there, right? <clears throat> I imagine this has to be one of the hidden bits, because it's, it's not exactly a, a path out here, but it is pretty obviously a structure. Yeah, so what do we got? Oh, it's a glowy hand bit, at least. Oh, more Lister's here. Maundering's here. Okay. Yeah, it's, at least it's more interesting than Trevor. Not a bad reason. Is precisely the opposite of the truth. I love civilization. Oh, go, 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 before I drop. No, oh, crap. Where's it gonna put me back? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, good. It just puts me back at the thing itself. Good. All right. Sorry, Lithra's here. Didn't mean to cut you off there, but um, I guess we can just. Uh, you may wonder why I insist on these unsanctioned. Well, let's see what was over on that island. Nothing apparently. Some think it is because I hate civilization and prefer to lose myself in nature. This is precisely the opposite of the truth. It is because I love New Jerusalem oh, that yeah. I have to leave. You love it, you gotta because let it go, it right? That's I'm the deal. That I fully appreciate what the city Ooh, means. And also of... because I believe that if I stayed at home. I would one day be ethically compelled to commit acts of violence against those who, in their arrogance, imagine that humans should live in harmony with the chaos that surrounds us. <laughs> okay, to simplify that a bit, he doesn't want to stick around because the people around him are so fucking dipshitty that he feels like he would commit harm to them. <laughs> I think I'm kind of identifying with Lipsrazir a little bit here. Oh boy. That's funny. Um, so wait, what did we pick up here? It was just like one of the sparks, right? I was looking for a switch or something too, but I guess it's nothing for now. Unless we discover that that's part of one of the stars, but... Uh, is this going to be too deep? I'm sure it is. Okay. like it's marked out most of the things on our compass now. Number two is over here, so we'll just keep following that. Okay, that looks like one of the star bits there. That is... looks like Pandora. Let's see what uh, the deal is here. Oh, it's a laser. Okay, green. Hmm. All right. See if one of these allows us to eject a green laser out, out of bounds here. And it is pointing pretty much directly at this one. Let's see what we got, if there's even a green laser to behold. Okay, we've got a uh, tunnely bit, box, red laser, red laser, uh, jammer. Hmm, I see. Okay. Oh, that, that needs a thing. Okay, well, we've got a ready box here. What's through there? Red laser? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, but we can't tunnel and also have it be a swappy bit. Okay. So we need to get the jammer back here is what I'm, what I'm seeing. Um, okay. Well. I need this tunnel bit over here. Am I, though? How's this gonna work? Oh, because the thing's over there. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, that kind of works, I guess. All right, let's, you know, let's take the jammer. Um, I don't 
I think we can... Oh, can we jam the platforms themselves? No, that would be silly. Okay, ooh, but can I target this from here? No. Ah, but I can set that down there. Oh, uh, but I can't get back through because the laser's no longer active. Uh, fudge. Uh, oh wait, can I exchange this through? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then get the laser back so we can go back through. All right. And then we've got the jammer. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. And then we're there. Yoink. Interesting. Okay, so we can reach through the tunnels to exchange shit. That's good to know. And it does not appear to be a green laser, potential green laser here anyway, so that's no good. But whatever provides this green laser will have to be line of sight with that somehow, or potentially act as a relay. <clears throat> so if we were to say, oh, I don't know. Oh, I see. Well, that's open now, but um, can we target that from here? I don't know if that's got enough angle on it. Oh, no, I think that's going to be blocked by the wall. Can we take that off? Alright, well, maybe... Well, actually, maybe we can get this out a little bit. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's pull the laser bit through here. I'm just gonna do some setup here, just in case this <coughs> happens to be a thing, right? Because here, we've got... Uh, we've got an angle on this, I believe. And that opens our chances to something in front of here, maybe? Is that... That's not enough of an angle. Let's try it over here. Oops. There we go. So maybe we target this from over there? Seems pretty likely now, actually. Okay, that was number two. Or no, that was number three. Alright, we skipped number two. Who's over here? Here's number two. Okay, here's another glowy palm bit. Let's kick that off. If there's any voice or something with it. Uh, oh no, we did that one already. That's right. What about the depression that one's uh, black snow. Okay, here's number two. Possibilities. Okay, blue source, accumulator, fan bits. Box. Uh. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's grab. Oops. Select that. That. Oh, it wasn't enough. Oh, I guess I can, I can hold it, right? There we go. So, uh. Blue. Does that hang on to it whilst it's there? It does. Interesting. Do that, and then, oh, wait, can we just do this? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Ah, however, that does not get us green, but I am now curious if we can um, oh, I need to swap an item for that. Shit. Can we take... Because <clears throat> I need... I think I need both the box and the thing, right? So this, I don't think, will float on its own. Oh, except I can put it up here. And is that in range of... Of our thing here? I don't think it is. Shit. No. You know, we'll, we'll leave it up there regardless, though. If that might be important to have this up here. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, we've got blue coming from two, and then we've got uh, kind of the relay point in number three there. Which makes me very, very curious. Yeah, because that's all the way the fuck over there. So maybe not this. Maybe not this area here. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> okay. We did three. Kind of out of order. That's all right. We do need to keep an eye out for the lab as well, too. So, let's keep looking at these question marks. Maybe one of them will be a thing we need to sort out here. Other paths and shit, which have tended to lead to the hidden, the or the lost puzzle things, right? The smaller paths, anyways. Ah, okay. Four is off. Okay, this goes back to um. Right. Wait, is that a? What's that up there? Oh no, that's just the the end of the puzzle there. I thought that was a glowy green bit. Okay, and then there's the entrance there, and then there's a couple nearby question marks here. What do we got? Oh, there's the other, uh, I see. Okay, so it's, it's another Prometheus star bit thing. That's pointing off about that away. Okay. All right. And then there's another question mark over here. I'm gonna follow this in. Oh, damn. Let's follow this around. Oh, I see. This is the main uh, bridge thing. That's not what I want. Not yet. Not yet, at any rate. Thought that might have been the lab entrance or something. Okay, it looks like that other question mark resolved in number eight. Fine and dandy, I guess. Oh, there's another Miranda thing over here. I guess we'll grab it while it stands out. <laughs> Miranda, would you like to play a game? <laughs> How a game? about a nice game of that chess? Like fun. It is. Remember what Alexandra Drennan um, said about games? What was the thing I was just that looking part at? of what makes us human. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And this is a game Alexandra Drennan designed when she was still in school. It's based on her favorite book. Have a go. Uh, oh, okay. Not even going to tell me about the game? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. All right, whatever. Um, this should be number four here. Oh, that's number eight. I don't want to do number eight just yet. That would probably be silly. Um, yeah, there's number eight there. Like, typically the lab things... Oh, it's another Stratton of Stagira gonna lecture at us about something? Yeah, there we go. Journey of philosophy. The world may seem like a mystery hmm. that can never be Climbers? solved. A great deal has been written since the days of the Seven Sages, but how much of it is Seven truth sages. and how much of it is idle speculation? Oh. Okay. I've offended many by saying oh, that most oh no. philosophy oh, no. will, as That's the centuries be... pass, be discarded oh, okay. as foolishness and superstition. But it is a truth only philosophers fail to see. And yet we cannot abandon reason and conclude that we cannot know anything. <laughs> Rather, we must accept that the journey towards understanding will be long. And our task is to build a foundation for those who will one day arrive at its destination. I just get my butt up here without falling down. <laughs> ah. Alright. Probably nothing then. Imagine they wouldn't want me up there anyways. Uh, okay. Oh, what we did. Eyeball another question mark over here. Uh, apparently over that mountain. Okay, I guess we're closer to number four than we are to... That question mark? Maybe? Oh, maybe not. It's just over here. Eh? Okay. Another glowy hand bit. Oh, boy. 
Lots of reading. Oh, and another Trevor thing. Great. Uh, what he suffered from today is humility in the wrong place. Now he's moved from the organ of ambition. Oh, man. Okay. Part of a man that the man does assert is exactly the part he ought not to assert himself. Party doubts is exactly the part he ought not to doubt. The divine reason. Uh huh. Looks like preaching humility, content to learn from nature. The new skeptic is so humble that he doubts if he can ever even learn. I mean, that's not. Eh, whatever. Um. <clears throat> Thus, we should be wrong if we had said hastily that there is no humility typical of our time. The truth is that there is a real humi humility typical of our time. When it so happens, there is practically a more poisonous humility than the widest pro prostrations of the ascetic. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the old humility made a man doubtful about his efforts, which might make him work harder, but the new humility makes a man doubtful about his aims, which will make him stop working altogether. Or start working towards something else. I didn't read this twice to fully understand. I'm with you, Miranda. I didn't read it hardly at all, and I still don't understand it. Uh, an excursion. <clears throat> Girl, there's an entire submerged town just off the coast, surprisingly well preserved. Sailing over, I finally understood what the ancients meant by eerie. I still couldn't have the kind of physiological response they did, but the mental response is pretty close. Contradictory response, part melancholy, part fascination. Strange how tragedy and destruction make the beauty of civilization more obvious. Dude, you got into the maintenance area and made a huge mess. Sorry, I'll clean it up. I may have been feeding it. <laughs> oh, Miranda. Okay, number six. Okay, oh, since everybody went back to the dance today, even holding off on constructing any new humans to concentrate on building a home for them first. There's a limit to what? 13 people? Wow, 13. Yeah, that's uh, not very many, is it? <clears throat> Temperatures can sometimes run high. Well, that's human, right? It's pretty nice, too. He's there when I was born, and he's just as much as other as Athena and Alexander, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I suppose we can always go visit them. The dam isn't that far, and once we complete the monorail in a few decades, wow, it will truly only be a few minutes away. And what are a couple dozen years, really, when you might live forever? Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. That's kind of the curse of immortality-ish, right? Being around forever. Okay, good. Now we can turn on Trevor and then promptly probably ignore him. Something I really like about Alex, one of the reasons why I'm here doing this, is that she's really humble. She has yeah. this incredibly positive view of humanity. She believes we can accomplish anything, but it's not about her. She doesn't think that she's smarter or better than anyone else. She uh -huh. just looks at us as a species, and even though she can see how small we are in the grand scheme of things, she thinks that we could conquer the stars and give mm -hmm. meaning to the universe. Even now, even when none of us are going to live to see mm -hmm. it. That's sort of been a good place for the land Isn't that entrance. Awesome. Yeah, sure, Trevor. I'm sure you said something deep and profound there. Probably didn't. Just kind of gushing over Alexandra, which you know I can't. I can't really blame him for that, I suppose. But even still. Not a fan of Trevor. <clears throat> okay, so I kind of walked my butt off that bridge for no good reason, but... <clears throat> I guess we're closer to this question mark now than to number four. Oh, is this the lab entrance over here? No, well, maybe not. A path of some description, but it was not the thing that I thought. Oh, it's actually just a normal ass puzzle. Oh, it's one of the lost ones. Okay, that no, that's good timing. Take it. Uh, are we in range of? We are not. Okay. Okay, we've got a jammer. Uh. Fan permanently on, right? Another jammer. Oh, a fan missing its fan bit and the tunnel bit. Okay. Okay. So we'll take this so we can get the other jammer in here. And then, uh, oh, I see. The tunnel bit is up there. Uh, so I'm gonna need this, probably. 
that we can do uh, uh, all right okay uh, do we have a okay we're gonna need to grab the laser bit do I have um, oh that's the actual thing no okay so I need uh take this one with me, I think. So we can do this, and I need to grab that, and then I'm gonna need to move this over a bit. Do that. Uh, well, do that. That turns on the fan. Uh, where's the actual fan bit, though? can't swipe it off of this one, right? It's, it's permanent. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Is it, like, just through the wall there? No. Where the fuck is the... Where's the fan bit we need to put on that thing? Got an idea. Can we um can we do this? Do that, do that, and then swap it? Does that work? No, it doesn't do the actual laser. Um Oh wait, I've got an idea. Can we jam that and grab the fan bit off of it? No, boo! Okay. Oh crap, I think I might have fucked that up. Can we grab this down? <laughs> uh, because that's my only way up there. Oops. All right. Yeah, gotta reset. Reset that one. All right. No biggie. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Duh. There's a. Why didn't I see that? There's a fan bit over here. Dummy. Okay. Uh. Uh, how is this going to work, though? Well, firstly, I need... Probably just the one jammer, right? Because then we've got this fan bit. Um, and then that allows us to do... Uh... Actually, do I care about that right now? Not yet. I'm gonna need that to trade for the laser thing. I think. Wait. Oh, I need the tunnel bit. Duh. Need that first. So I can do this. And do... That, right? Oh, except I'm gonna need the fan bit first for this, right? Because I need the jammer to trade for the laser bit. And then... Um... I need to connect these two. Oops. But I'm gonna drop it like right there. And I'm gonna need this to trade for the fan bit. Alright. Let me put that there. And I'm gonna put. Oh, wait. Because I need that to be powered. Fuck. Uh. Wait. No, I think I need the tunnel bit up there. Okay. I need the tunnel bit, and then I need the laser up there. Flip, flop, like right there or so. Um, and then... But then what? Because then I can't... I 
Yeah, because then I need... <clears throat> Shit. I'm short one piece, I think. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I need to just uh, put this through the hole. Then it's constantly on, and then we've got an extra thing. Right there, yeah. And then I need to be able to jam this. <laughs> but how? Um, yeah, but how, though? It's the jam. Oh, wait, duh. Just take the jammer from the thing right next to you, dummy. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, we're not in range of anything in a way, else, though, right? Wonke's experience must be very similar to Athena's in the simulation. I mean, There's one difference, or my own experience in Athena Hell's Principles alone. alone. I mean, I'm technically alone here, too, Byron. I don't see any of y'all, the rest of you, helping me out with these puzzles. So I may as well be alone. Some expedition we are. Okay, let's just have a look around here. So I feel like the the Prometheus bit was kind of around here too. Or at least it was pointed in this direction, right? Uh, I don't see the thing outlined on our compass, so we're not close enough probably to see it. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> Yeah, I can see. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we were originally, <laughs> I think, on our way over to number four there, and we got sidetracked, distracted, whatever, but we found the hidden bits, which is good. Oh, and there's another question mark over there. I'm curious if we... One of these that we climb up is actually where we need to be or something. I imagine they wouldn't want me climbing up here otherwise, right? They wouldn't let me climb up here otherwise, but I guess you can only get so far before it's like, nah, fuck you, man. Although... Hmm. What if I just jump down onto this? What? Which one is, even is this one? This looks like number eight. Hmm. You know what? Let's try it. Okay, we're here. Um, should we technically be able to be up here? <laughs> I feel like not, but they put a an extra little gym jam up here that we can apparently reach. Which seems a little suspect. Uh, I think that star thing over there, is that the Pandora one or the... Prometheus one, that's hard to see. Render distance isn't quite far enough to see whatever that is. I guess this gets us eyes on where the other puzzles are, too. There's number seven. Number six is way over there. And I don't know what's over there. That might be the other hidden one, or the other lost one, actually. Way in the distance. Okay, well, since we're up here, I guess? Can we maybe technically huck this jammer outside? Can we... Oh, no, they don't let us jump back up there. You know what? That's fine. We've got an extra jammer. Um, did it... It didn't tell us what this was, did it? There we go. Transmission. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't want us to be able to get this. Or maybe they did. Or maybe they wanted us... Oh, there's a fan there. Okay, they wanted us to get it another way. <laughs> uh, but we just kind of circumvented that. It's fine. It's fine. So, uh, extra little Jim Jam. We can get extra robot friends right away. 
can get whatever this is, which is red laser. Um, I mean, do we technically need this jammer for anything else? Doesn't look like it. I mean, besides blocking that, I guess. So we'll grab the tunnel bit. Should get us there. Is this thing doing a thing? No. But then we've got red laser. Actual fan. Oh, which would have just gotten us the jammer anyways. Damn it. I thought we did it clever. We did not. Okay. Uh, I mean, the other clever bit would be to just tunnel here, go out, climb up, drop down, and whatever's up there we grab, right? But I feel like we can do that without leaving the puzzle. We just need to find a laser bit somewhere. Um, because all we've got is a jammer... There technically another thing up there? No, I don't see anything up there. Like that Oh no, there's the laser bit up there. Okay. Um well it might be that they want us to go outside and touch grass. I mean uh jump into this room above. Cause that's not over the tunnel -y bit, is it? Kind of behind it, right? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Well, if that's the case, then. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. Like, I don't need to go on. I don't need to go outside. I just jump on the fan, dummy. Oh, but we need to have something with us. Oh, okay. Um. <clears throat> Well, I guess technically we might not do that, actually. Oh, but we're going to need something else for this, too. Yeah, because we need to swap that in. What the? Oh, can we take the fan? Yeah. All right. There we go. That works. Gives us the extra jammer. Um... Oh, but then we need to get it up there somehow. Fuck. Uh, oh, we can jam this and then trade the tunnel -y bit for it. There we go. And then uh, take this with us, I think. Yeah. Take this with us. Uh, oh, shit. Um, put that there, I guess, right? Is that fan? Is that fan back on? That fan's back on. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick, quick swaparoo here. That. That. Oh uh, crap! Wait. Uh, is this gonna work? No, it's not. I need the. Shit, I need, like, one extra bit again. <laughs> God damn it. I need one extra bit, and I don't have the extra bit. Okay, I think I need my other robot friend down here to go on this. Get the thing, and then... But that, what's that going to do, though? Oh, because I just need to do that. Yeah. But then I need my other person over there. So I need that. And, uh... I need this back on here. Uh... Crap. I think I'm kind of... Stuck where I am again. I need that to open up the whole... Oh, grab the fan. Oh, but I can't do that. 
Uh, wait. I'm a, I'm a dummy. I need, um... Okay, I need my other self back here. Drop that. Do that. Do that. Do that. I need the jammer back. Because... I need it to be jamming that thing. Or, alternatively... I need it to be jamming that thing on the way down. <sighs> so I need to grab this, go back up there, position it such that it is... Uh, can I not do that from here? Why can I not pick it up? Like, can I not keep it jamming a thing? Can't. Oh, balls. I don't think I can, like, quick. No, not enough air control to do that. <laughs> yeah, back. Um. Oh, actually, is that gonna matter? Do I need to jam this? I don't think I do. I just need something to. to exchange here. <clears throat> Okay, so I need that. I need to lower it down one level, right? So do this. But then I also need... I can't trade one of my robot friends, right? Like, I can't just trade myself on this, right? No. What I can do here is just do this, right? Like here, can you just hop on that for a bit? Fuck. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm still missing one part. I guess the easy answer would be to just go outside and jump down. Assuming it doesn't reset the puzzle when I do that. Though, again, I hardly think this is probably not the solution they intend. And we'll see if it's if it even works this way. I think it'd be very strange to me if they allowed me to do this. Oh, well, son of a... Very slippery up there. Should have maybe built a little bit more traction control into our... Into our robo-feet here. Alright, careful now. Here, and then, like, over this way, right? Yeah. So... Again, I don't think this is what they wanted me to do. But, the hole is still there, and we're still able to get up and get over there, so, uh... You know what? Fine. <laughs> Fucking fine. Whatever. So now we got the laser. Um... I guess, technically speaking, that works. <laughs> Um, I doubt that's the way to do it. Yeah, no shit. Oh, maybe it was, since uh, Melville said the thing. Well, that was convoluted. Yeah, it did seem very convoluted. But, uh, maybe that was... Maybe that really was the solution. Ugh, man. I don't think it was, ultimately, but... Can't argue with results. Okay, well, I accidentally did number eight. Um, so we should actually head over to four now. Unless this question mark is closer. So that's number six. I don't think I care about number six right now. Oh no, that's number six. Well, what was that one that I just passed? Number seven? 
No. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's not even a thing. Well, oh, it is. Propulsion. Wait. Oh, that is number seven. Dumbass. Okay. Got a little confused. Oh, and then there's like a really tiny question mark up there now, too. Way off to the north. I'll, uh, get to that eventually. Arches and shit. Tunnels and whatever. Oh, this is the, the lab entrance. Okay, good. Sometimes that's the hardest to find. Still get to find the one in the first area. Oh, we not, uh... Get in here. He's not interested in letting us have access here. This doesn't count as being done, huh? Oops, another social media thing, too. Devil's Bargain. <clears throat> Dr. Faustus from Merlin of Greece. There's a story that the ancients keep telling a wise man tempted by the devil to sell his soul in exchange for knowledge. Terrible consequences. I wondered why they thought this story so important. I'm curious to hear. Others' opinions, huh? Okay. Entrepreneurs knew that knowledge is dangerous and pursuit often leads to tragedy. Okay, probably true. Knowledge is dangerous for those who want to for those who want to hoard power. Yeah. Uh, these stories are designed to keep ordinary people compliant. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yet in a lot of stories I've read, the writer seems fascinated with the devil's side of the argument. Okay, true. Oh boy, there's some long-winded answers here. Nain's rights to keep people compliant. I mean, I don't disagree necessarily i think they often conflated political anxieties with technological or intellectual progress because talking about the real problems was taboo I, sure yeah all right pursuit of knowledge comes at a cost but without it the world is boring and deep down those writers knew that probably true also uh, melduk is right off knowledge often leads to tragedy uh, okay maybe Knowledge can be extremely disruptive to a society. They were grappling with that. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's also true. It's a pseudo-profound story that writers reused because it made their work look deeper than it was. <laughs> oh, I don't disagree with that. <laughs> um, hmm, though. Well, like anything else, it's a trope, right? Sometimes they're, they're tropes for a reason. Uh, they exist because they're widely applicable, and for the most part, sometimes people have a good understanding of them, right? Um, hmm. I don't think it's any of like the, the deep down ones. That just doesn't seem correct to me, but and again, this is like, oh, it's subjective. What do you think about it, etc.? Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with the pseudo-profound thing. That that makes the most sense to me right here. <clears throat> also seems kind of true, at least sometimes. I mean, just, just because it's harsh doesn't mean it's false. And just because it's true doesn't like deny the possibility of the others like this is very like oh you must think this this is the absolute answer you just gave or whatever and it's like no nah, there's there's nuance here there's nuance that obviously we cannot express in six predefined answers right um yeah so wait we found the lab does that did that count as finding the lab i guess it did yeah it's just like yeah you you did it Congrats. Just not can't do anything more with it because we can't squeeze our robo butts through here. All right, kind of a letdown. Oh, and then the other question mark thing got a lot closer. This might be the other lost puzzle too, which would be kind of nice. Looks like that's where it's kind of directing us. 
just need to remember to keep an eye out for possible green laser to eject off in that general direction, I think. Yeah, that was the other lost time. Okay. <clears throat> what do we got? All around. Blue, inverter, red source. Okay. Red source to blue. Another laser bit here. Jammer. Okay. And then to green. Ah. Ah, here's the combo bit. All right. Are we close enough to... Hmm. Well, I mean... what? Oh, we need to swap an item in. Damn it. <laughs> it's like, hey, this is pretty easy. Nope. Okay. Let me, uh... Jam this one here real quick, like. Uh, wait, what is that one doing? That one's not doing shit, right? That was oh, that was just opening that. Okay, so never mind. We probably don't need that. We're gonna grab this, grab this, grab this, block that because we need it, and then we just need the combo bit from here. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Uh, for here. Cause then we can go. Oh damn, no, we need shit. <laughs> hey, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this first here. Blip, blip, uh, to here, I guess. Because I'm going to need the jammer here to re-jam that motherfucker over there. Just wait, where was the blue source? Oh, wait, we had the blue from the from the inverter here. Yeah, okay. I kind of still need that. Uh... <laughs> um... Okay. I need that, um... I need the inverter. Again, I'm just, like, another bit short of this. Just an additional bit short of this, because I need... Hmm. I need the inverter over here. I don't need this here. I need the inverter. So, let's go like this. Jam that. Grab this. Um, this, jam that, grab that, inverter here, uh, take it with us, jam this, uh, inverter here, uh, shit, okay, um, well, there's that, okay, that opens that, um, Uh, fuck. Okay, uh, that. Oh, fuck, how am I gonna get that, though? <clears throat> um, shit. That doesn't work. Um, I need this. Needs to block that so we can get back here. And, uh. Do I need that? I guess I need. This. Oops. Need that. This. This. That to keep that open. So we can do this. And there we go. Okay. That's. And then we've got red source. Now we can do red, blue, green, honk. Okay, order of operations. Now, uh, so that unblocks that, right? I often think about how many 
these cities there are out where in the ocean cities where people live for thousands of years oh boy so we've got which one are we in here which number is this oh this is the the second hidden bit lost under the waves if they'd been less greedy they could have kept all that I'm gonna I don't think we can move pass this out here. judgment on an entire species based on the decisions of a handful of leaders. So I'm gonna move this out here. But I do think they my concern the is that we're gonna need the green. They stop caring about what they built. They stop seeing the romance of civilization. Yeah, Byron or whatever. <laughs> this is just fucking whatever, Byron. Um Cause this is now a source of green. But I don't know if I can get it to where I need it to be. Just in case, I suppose, I will go ahead and get it, like, way up against the wall here. Nope. Oh. Uh, red to bluish here, and then red, blue, uh, green, well, green there, right? There's a green source. I mean, the other opportunity here is to put the green source there. Does that get us line of sight to where we need it to be, though? No. This might be just too far away. This is way off in the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll remember that, just in case we need it. I feel like it's one of the normal puzzles. Like, I don't think they would lock a, a star laser thing behind one of the lost puzzles. That seems a little bit maybe too much. It's probably from one of the normal ones. Probably. Uh, yeah, because we are way the fuck away from everything around here. In the, uh, I mean, unless, oh, oh, up there. Is that one, of, is that a combo bit up there? It's, it's doing a rotate. I see it. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Is that connected up to anything? Oh, we got another Miranda thing here, too. Yeah, that's definitely a combo bit. I don't know where that's going. Mother, can I suggest something? Now we've of got course. hostilities Go here. The southern part of the island is completely dead. No animals, no plants. The soil is too alkaline okay. for anything to live except bacteria. Yes, that's why it's a good location for some of the experiments. Well... If we want to show that we can make the cosmos more beautiful, then why don't we start there? Wait. The desert doesn't have to be dead. If we modify the conditions, life can thrive there. And that could be the first step towards spreading life to other worlds. What do you think? Hmm. I think that sounds like a plan. Okay, now I'm a little confused. Because regardless of... I guess it can act as a source to something else, right? Because that's definitely not line of sight to where we need the laser to be over there. But it is a combo bit, so we can turn... Something into something else. Do we have... <coughs> oh, excuse me. We must have line of sight to this from at least two different areas, then. Maybe here, number... F I guess we're at number five. Let's do number five whilst we're here. Let's see if it gives us a, a possibility. A possible laser or something. Yeah, because we're right here. We've got a red source. And... An inverter. That's interesting. So we'll have a... Ooh, interesting. Okay. So we could possibly have both. Red and blue going there. So wherever the fuck that was, right? Oh, over there. Yeah? Okay, well, let's solve this first. We got inverter, accumulator, jammer, other things. Well, I'm not gonna want the jammer first. It gets that, which holds that, okay. Then 
we've also got this over here, which is a second jammer. Alright. Uh, let's do this, and this, and that unlocks that, so let's jam that with this. Reduces our need of jammers to one. And gives us a red source, which... Let's get that, I suppose. And then that removes our requirement for this other one, right? So, uh... Will this hang on to its thing if I just kind of do that? Yes, it will. Okay, so let's grab that. Oh, oops. Uh, grab that. Grab that. Grab that. That. Oh. Uh, am I stupid? Oh, right, because I'm targeting the wrong one. Dummy. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then we should be able to do both of these. Oops. Uh... Now, do that, so we can get both the thing and the inverter. Uh, wait a minute. How are we gonna open both of those, though? What's the name of this one? Twice. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's intriguing. Well, probably gonna want this regardless. Let's do that. Block that. That needs to be blue. Um. I guess either way I'm gonna want this, right? But I'm gonna need the. Hmm. How's that gonna work? Oh, well, if I need it to be blue, hold up. I uh, jumped the gun on this a little bit. Okay. If I need it to be blue, I need it to be inverted. Let's go ahead and do this again. Um, so we can grab that. Uh, grab the inverter. Do that, I guess. Well. No, shit, how's this gonna work? Can I... Does that technically count? No. No, it does not. Um... I still need that to be active to a source, right? Because that's otherwise that's not going to work. Oh, I see. Duh. Um, I need you to just not do that. We can do that. Click clock. There we go. Um, because now that's connected, I guess. I'm... Wait, what? Oh, that controls them both. I missed that it was doing both. Okay. Um, now we've got blue. Alright. And then I need to grab... One of these. Um, I need that to jam. I su Well, suppose that, right? I can grab this back. Oops. That one jam that, grab this back, and now we've got them both. Um, but I really just need the blue one, so we're gonna do that. Jam that. Well, so I need both jammers to kind of leapfrog that in, right? Uh, jam from this side, do that. That. Go back that way. There we go. Okay.
Okay, and then this should all be held open now. Yeah, okay. So, with that in mind then, we've got that online there. I'm gonna grab the inverter. I wanna see where this goes. Although now, oops. Um, does it work like that? I guess now that's providing green, right? Oops, stop, there we go. Just, here, set it down. There we go, so now that's providing green. That's gotta be line of sight to either number three or number two, which had the thing, right? So now we can use that to relay to uh, the Pandora laser receiver thing, right? Yeah. Right over there when we set it up. Okay. Yep, that's, uh, that's what we needed. Yeah, because that's shining bright there. I think we had snuck a... Or, was it not this one? No. Oh, it's the one... Was it number two? No, it must have been number three. I... Th Wait a minute. Did I not sneak a laser outside of this one? I guess I... Didn't. Um... No, I did not. Well, actually, crap. Um... Here. Here's what I need to do. I need to grab this box. I think. Through. Um... Like this. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, I need the box to get over the wall. Now we got the box. That. Don't need the tunnel. Uh... Now we've got laser. Uh, laser. So we need to put it on a box, right? About... Here, I guess? There we go. Eh, we might not have even needed the box. I just think I just need to sneak it back out into the main area there. Either way, got it done. Hell yeah. Alright! And then uh, the other star is just the Prometheus bit. Is the way of humankind. Yeah, fucking whatever, Pandora. <laughs> humankind is not a horse, first of all. Um, so which one did we stop at here? Okay, we didn't do four yet. <laughs> That's right. I meant to get to four, and then I just kind of got very distracted. But I guess since we're here by the Prometheus bit, we should be following that pretty much that away to the northish east. I guess it's not the not the clearest thing that stands out, is it? But we'll try to follow it roughly this direction and see if we can see it, you know? Is that it there, or is that just another spark thing that we can do? Interesting. Alright. This path kind of leads this way. Oh! Oh no! There it is. Okay. Just have the three normal puzzles here, which we could probably get through, and then we'll be all caught up. Okay. Here's what they want me to do to get this one, though. There's nothing for me to set on that.
Um, where did it go? Where did it... Where did it disappear to? Uh, okay. Just kind of fucking evaporated. Went up, so I presume it's like up there, near number six. Damn stone. Since we're here at number six, we may as well just do it. Oh, let's see if we can find where it ended up here. Looked like it went up. But I guess not. Shit. Well, we'll have to reacquire it at some point. Damn it. What do we got? Fan, inverter, button, blue source. A box. Can we grab this fan bit? We can. Uh, another fan over there. Um, combo bit up there. Oh, there's that thing there. A blue source. Or a blue thing. Which, I don't know what they want me to do there. And a green source. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. All right. Uh, we need to get up there, presumably. Go ahead and see where these various fan things take us. There we go. Uh, there's the fan itself. Yeah. All right. That's what I thought. <sighs> Crap. All right. Um... The inverter is gonna help me here. Where was the red source? No, we got a blue source, but not a. We can't connect to it from here, right? Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. I thought there was also a red source here somewhere. Oh, there's a green source. That doesn't do anything, right? I don't think we can invert green into anything. Um. All right, so I want a blue source, I, I guess. Uh, so where does this get us otherwise? Oh, I'm gonna need something up there. Oh, that one's detachable too, huh? Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm, uh... What am I gonna do here? I guess I'll take that fan first. Because we need a few other things here. We'll need that. I'm gonna guess we're gonna want... Oh, but I need... <laughs> I need the fan to get up there. Ah, uh, I'm a dummy. Okay, um... Because what do we have? We've got blue and green. And what is this one over here? That's blue. What the hell? Okay, so we are gonna need the inverter. Um, but all right, okay, let's do this first here. Let's do that. Let's use the inverter as the little swap. And now we've got the combo bit. Okay, which means we need green and red, plus probably, no, how's that gonna work? We're gonna need the box down here as well, I guess, to get over this thing. Okay. And what did we just put up there? We put the inverter up there. We need not that. <laughs> We're gonna need the box. Um, you know what? Let's take this for now. Need the box. We need this back on there. We'll take the box. And I'm gonna need the inverter. 
Uh... Well, can I get up there without the fan? I can't, right? That's not low enough? Yeah, no, I can't. It's like no upper body strength in these robots, so we can't just fucking grab and pull ourselves up. Um, yeah, I mean, the only other option would be to... Shit, so that doesn't work, really. What do we have such that... Like, we need the inverter up here to create red, but then we also need green. Okay, yeah, red and green, so the inverter needs to be here. So we might not need the box. Just need the inverter, right? So green. Okay, we've got a source of green. We don't need this fan anymore because that's up there. Uh, we will not need this fan because we don't need to get up there anymore. Then we've got the combo bit. Green. Uh. Oh, wait. Right. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's not it at all. I need it to connect to red. Because I'm a fucking dummy. Alright, um... Let me grab that. Here. I need... Blue... Available... Uh, actually, no, let's do it this. Blue and red. Should be red, and then... Where the hell's the box? What's up there? Where the hell's the box up there? I do need the box. Or... Well... Yeah. Well... Actually, no, I don't need to be up here, right? I need just this to be red. Red and green to blue, right? Okay, never mind. I need this here to keep that open, right? Um, and then I need the box. Fuck. Uh, all right. Then I need the box, which means I need to be up here and here. Oh, but then I need something to exchange here. Son of a... Jass. Yeah. Well, actually, wait. Do I need that, though? I wonder if I do need that. Because I need the, um... Let me grab that fan again. I need the combo bit, for sure. But then we've got, uh blue and red, or uh, but it's not high enough here, that's why, because it's blocked. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Right, 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 right. So I need the box. What am I going to exchange for the box? I need I need the inverter because I need red. I need a source of red, and I've got the source of green over there, so the inverter needs to stay. Um, I need the combo bit for sure, and I need the box. How do I get that box down without giving up one of these two pieces? So I, I can't take this, right? Because otherwise I can't get up there. Let's do this temporarily. I, I don't like this, but let's do it temporarily. Because then both fans are active, right? I Actually, I wonder. Can I do this? And then it goes... What happened to that? Oh, there. Oh, I just kind of shoved its ass off, right? You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to grab this, even though I know I need it. There's the box, but what else can I do with this? No, that's not the way. Because I can't invert green to shit, right? I need that. 
so I need the other fan bit here. But I can't I can't get up there without the fan. Without this fan. Without both fans, actually. I can't get back up here. Do I need the box? Do I absolutely need the box? I think I do, because I can't get green otherwise. Yeah. Alright. So how do I scam one of these platforms out of what they've got? Can I grab the fan as it's... <laughs> Can I grab it after it dunks me here? No, I doubt it. They wouldn't want me to do that. That would be silly. Yeah. Okay, what part am I missing? If I give it the inverter temporarily, I can have the box, but that doesn't help me. Well, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Okay, hold on a second. Let's get the box. Get the box. All right. Um, shove this box over here. Okay. Uh, no. First, let's put. Uh, well, shit. That's not gonna do anything, anyways, is it? Pretty stupid, aren't they? Okay. Let's let's do this. Need the box. Take this off. Box. Fan. Swap it. On there. Fan. Two things. There. Okay. Um, but now that fan's missing. <laughs> Shit. Uh, okay. That did not help. No, that doesn't work either. Uh, we can't connect to that from up here, can we? Because there's green source. No, that wouldn't work. Fuck. What am I... Okay, okay, all right. Got the box down here. Got the fan. Fan. Combo bit. Inverter. But we can't connect to this from up here, and we need it down there anyways. Son of a... What good does that do me? That's, yeah, no, it's not right anyway. Alright. Let's back this up. Back it up a bit. Um. Box. Have box. Oh, well. Need other fan. Other fan obtained. Okay. Need box. Have inverter. Box. Fan. Fan. Box. Fan. Fan. Inverter. Okay. Have inverter. Have inverter and combo bit. Have inverter, red, blue, blue, green into, uh, sorry, red, green into blue, right? Which, uh, doesn't work because this fence is in the way. Right. 
Uh, okay. But how... Need box. Need box to get over fence. But how to get box with... The parts that we have... But also having... Okay, got an idea. Um, combo bit. Need you for now. Need other fan bit for now. Because need original fan bit there. Uh, and then need to grab... Need to grab box. Need box for now, right? So let's get box here. Put box here. Think I can reach something on the box here. Um, let's do that. Grab, uh, yes, okay, I can grab stuff on and off the box here. That's fine, but it doesn't really help me, does it? Because I need, well, can I? Can I stack shit such that I can jump up there? Like, can I jump on the fan and then jump up there? It does not seem that way. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, no. Because I need to put something up there. I need to get one of the fans up there. How am I going to do that? Can I really not jump up there from just the box? Nope, can't do a damn thing about it. Okay. <sighs> Shit. I think I'm on to something here, but I just can't... can't quite see what I'm on to, really. So I need another... Oh, yeah, I can grab... Can I grab that from here? No, I can't just reach down. Well, what else could I put on there? Because I can't do that one. God, there's three platforms, and I need... Doesn't help me to shove this box up here. Fuck! Uh. I mean, because I can't. Well. Wait. No, I think I'm a dummy. I don't need the box. I need to get the combo bit up there, is what I need. And I can do that, I think. I need this extra fan trade for combo bit so that I can do this and that's why this platform is here. Yep. This to provide red. Right? And then I need inverter to go from red to blue. Fucking yeah. Overthinking it. Good job. Didn't need the box. I'm a dummy. Got hung up on needing the box. Alright, that leaves, what, two... Okay, two normal puzzles, and then we gotta track down the Prometheus thing. How close are the other puzzles? <laughs> and also, I thought the Prometheus thing had gone up here, but maybe it did not... Yeah, it's like it kind of, like it went, just kind of disappeared into thin air, and it's like, yeah, alright, cool. To get eyeballs on it at some other point, I think. Okay, uh, where's, uh, what's left? Four and six? Four and seven. 
Four is over there. Seven is close-ish over here. Let's go do seven. All right, can I access seven without doing a dumb here? All right. We did the complicated bit with the, the laser bouncing, so whatever. All right, propulsion. Uh, inverter, box, tunnel bit, platforms up there, and an accumulator. Okay, well, um, I just need something to go through here. Grab the inverter, grab the accumulator. The uh, accumulator can retain its thing even when it's set on the thing, right? Um, oh, okay, excuse me. So let's get it. No, oh, come on, let's set it on the platform. Ah! Oh, I like that. All right, connect it, set it down. All right, set it there. It did not go because it needs the box or whatever. All right. Oh, for gosh sake. All right, connect up to it. There we go. All right, it's got blue. It's got blue. We've got um, a box. In return for an inverter, which needs to probably go up there and also be connected there. So let's do that. Set that down there. Set that up to then be. Well, that. Okay, no, it needs. I need to have it in my hands, right? There we go. So that's connected up there. Now we just need to feed it blue. Um. Can we take the fan here? Yes, we can. Uh, and then just connect that up there. And there. All right, that one was pretty easy. <laughs> Excellent. I'm impressed. And you don't impress easily, Melville, do you? Um. Okay. Here's number four over there. jog away, that's fine. And if we need to leave the... We, we got that one already, yeah, okay. If we need to leave the Prometheus Star until next time, we can do that. We've at least made a little bit of headway. Or maybe four will be super quick and we'll run back and get the Prometheus Star anyways. Do that too. Number seven was really easy. Okay. Uh, prison. We got a normal laser bit of. Okay. Red source. Gets us a box, and another box, and another box, and a laser thing, and a red thing? Okay. It's fine. Let's do that. Grab red. Uh, do we have enough of an angle here to make this work? Not really, but we could. Just move this over a bit. There we go. Which then gets us another laser bit. Okay. Uh, which gets us... Um, hmm. Well, let's move this a bit. Red red here. Gets us in there, and then we need blue. Where the f*** is blue? Ah, blue source is there. Um, that's a problem. So we're gonna need a box. Luckily, we have a box. So we're going to need to do... Uh, we're gonna need that red regardless. That's going against the red source, whatever. 
Um, so we need a box out here, probably, to... Uh... You know what? Let's elevate this red to here. So that we can do red. Oops. Uh, red, red there. And then we can do... Uh... Let's do it like this. We can do red... Or no, where, where, where was blue again? Oh, there's another... Th oh, there's a thing there, too. Wait, what the hell? Uh, that's intriguing. Where's the blue source? There's the blue source. Let's do it like this. Blue, blue. Um, yeah, nice. Uh, that means I just probably need to move this here. Well, close to there, probably. And then put that up there. And then we can do blue, blue, like that. Or, like, slightly over there. So now that one's being kept open. Um, however, where was the other blue? The other blue one was behind here, right? Fuck. Um, now we can move that. Let's get that out of there. That. Get that to do that. Fine. Let's take that off for now and get, like, red. Right here, I guess? But then what? Like, yeah, that's getting held open, but... Okay, maybe I need this in here. And then we can put... Is it going to be high enough to do that like this? I guess it must be, right? We do this, and this, and this, and this. That is. Okay. That's all well and good. However... Missing and thing. Uh, because we need an additional laser to get that thing going, and that's not happening. Um, we also have this extra little laser bit over here, which would be very important. Seems like it would be very important. But how the f do we get in there? to get it out of there. So my guess is that these... Oh, actually, I see. I see. I need all of these boxes so that I can build a tower to get in there and flip that switch so we can get the lasers and then we just rebuild the ship. Oh, okay. There we go. And then we've got the extra laser thing. Now we need these back. Um, wait, how do I get back out there to open this up? Shit. Uh. Wait a minute. Did I? I think I fucked this up. Yeah, I needed that to stay open. <laughs> ah, fuck. Um, because this isn't. Oh no, that's wide open. Never mind. I'm, I'm done. Okay, so now we need two extra laser bits, one box. Uh, and that should be fine. Alright. Now we need this open. I think. So that we can then do... Let's take the box out. Get this right about there. Put that up there. Get blue to here, and then move, uh, blue to here, I suppose, roughly there, oops, not to that though, blue, 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 and then get bot, oh, don't, don't close it, don't close that, <laughs> reopen that. 
sure that's open. Move this back in. Grab box. And then box. Red. 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 Open that. Open that. Hey. Alright. That works. Okay. Four was harder than seven. Well, I mean, it probably didn't need to be harder than seven if I had paid attention to this thing first, but... So that's all the normal puzzles. And the two hidden ones. And the lab. We just need the Prometheus star thing. Um, where was that? It's over here, yeah. I guess we're close enough. It's getting late, so we're gonna have to make this our last bit, but... Let's see where it's pointing now, since I lost it the first time. Good dummy. Oh, that's the uh, other one. Where was the... It's over here. <sighs> Alright, well, assuming we get this one wrapped up soon, it should still be pointing where it is, right? We'll be pretty much caught up to where we need to be. It's almost directly northeast. We'll have a little bit to make up next time, because so we got to go in the tower and get the green murder laser, I think, going. Speed. Followed it this far, right? Unless it went back to its original spot, which I don't think it did, because it didn't in the previous area. But we'll check. There's way it started way the fuck over here. Or somewhere. Yeah, it started over there. Is it back there now? No. Shit. Um, okay. Because we followed it out. And we ended up... We ended up around here. The extra spark thing that I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother with that, I don't think. Um... Ended up around here, and then it just kind of evaporated. Oh, Jesus. Right. It's whirled around, and it... I guess we can make a circuit of this rock here. Because I thought it went up to number six there, and it did not. When it solved that puzzle, then it wasn't there. Obvious where it might have ended up either, so. I mean, unless it kind of followed these damn things over here? I don't think so. Mm. I'd have to re enter this area to reset it. Imagine it wouldn't be out of visual range, probably. It almost looked like it went up, but I don't know that it did. Pay closer to attention to when it was doing its thing. Oh well. Alright, well that's fine. We can catch this later. another one of those things where they want us to climb the shit again. Should be weird, but not unusual. Hmm. No, it's not there. Okay, well, let me just quote-unquote save it where we last saw the dang thing, which was about here. Yeah, that's pretty close. 
Oh, and there's a social media thing from whom and what and why. And do we care right now? We do not, I don't think. Oh, it's just another painting from Athelvok here. Which, hey, you know, that's kind of pretty, but... Hmm, fall off on there. Alright, we'll call it there for tonight. Um, cool, we're almost fully caught up. Uh, just one more kind of bit in that area, and then we can go on to the next one right away. So that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CST. It'll be Shmup Book Club. Uh, some more Trigon or Blueish Resurrection Plus or Karis. Uh, Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, it'll be Long Play. Um, if we decide on something different than Spelunky 2, it'll be that. Otherwise, it'll be Spelunky 2. Um, and then next Monday, 7 p.m. CST, back here with the Talos Principle 2. Hooray, good puzzles. The, the ones tonight made me think a bit more, which is good and fun. I like to be challenged. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.